guys, it's your girl Jalicia, and I'm back with another lock tutorial. Now, this is an interpretation of a lock tutorial Royal Eleven did. Hey, girl! And I think one of her New Year's lock styles, so I want to show you guys my interpretation of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's totally not the same, but it's definitely inspired by, and I will leave a link to her tutorial in the... It's not a tutorial. I'll leave a link to her video showing the style in the description box. But if you're interested in seeing how I came up with this look, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. stay tuned. Alright, so I'm under braiding my hair from this side all the way to the other side in the rear. Um, if you don't know how to under braid, I have a video showing you how I do it. And so right here, you'll see the video. Click on that if you don't know how. Now also, I totally forgot to show you guys how I sectioned my hair off. But what I did was section it, as you can see from this part, this part all the way across the back right there. And I'm taking the under braid and taking it all the way across. I think this is so funny how I, my elbow is like starring in the show. But if you can manage to see past my elbow, you'd see that I'm just under braiding it. See there? All the way to the other side. Now, if you want to do this as a twist or like a big roll instead of a braid, you definitely can do that. What I'm doing is when I get to the end, I'm going to take some rubber bands and just put in a pointer right there on the other side from where I started the braid on the opposite side. So it goes all the way across the back. As usual, after this, I'm going to go ahead and take the end and wrap it around my ponytail holder like I always do. And, of course, with any braiding, after you just tuck, tuck, tuck any parts that's sticking on out, okay? Now, being that the back is braided, we're doing the same thing. Now, you can definitely see how the other side is sectioned with the front. And I'm actually just going to braid this one up and over to the other side. Once again... There's a video in the description box right down there that will show you how to braid if you don't, don't know how. Or you can basket weave it, flat twist it. I mean, it's, it, you have options. So if you don't know how to do one thing, doesn't mean you can't figure this out. Now, I like this style because it was a lot different from what I usually wear. And my hair isn't out touching and flying everywhere. Which you know in this heat is definitely a plus. Now, once you got to the end, you just put a ponytail holder on it. You definitely can leave it hanging down because yesterday I had my hair like this and I totally left it hanging down like that and I thought it was super cute. Boo, if you don't think so. <laughs> anyway, now, what I'm doing today is I'm going to put it in a little bun. Now, as you know, I love a la bronze goddess once again, how you put it in rubber bands on any of your locks and it helps to maneuver it. So just put a rubber band on the end and just bend it under and use my bobby. <laughs> you saw that lip service right there? Yeah. And just pinned it. I think I used two or three pins. Again, this is optional. You don't have to put a bun. You can leave it hanging out. You can actually make a traditional ballerina bun. I mean, child, it's whatever you want, but... That's how I did it. You see some locks sticking out in the back. I'm definitely going to tuck those. So this is the final result. You can see the parting better how it's kind of catacorn across my head. Of course, I think it's something different. I really like it. So let me know if you try it. Let me know what you think. And... Thank you guys so much for watching, subscribing, sharing, liking, everything. You know, with, without you, there's no me. Okay? Peace out. She works hard for the comments, so you better hit that like.